Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Now, we're going to show you how to use the indirect function. So it's one lookup function that is not commonly used, but is actually also quite powerful in its own way. So for example here, I want to get the average QA scores for the three months that I have here, January, February, and March, the data of which are in different worksheets. As you can see, they are here under column B. And fortunately, all my worksheets are formatted the same way. So all the QA scores are under column B. So I'll try now to get it the usual way. So average, open parentheses. Now this cell would correspond to the January. So I would go to the January tab and click on column B and then close. So I would get the average okay, for that cell. However, if I double click this, I would end up getting the same answer because my formula is stuck with the January worksheet. Now this is where the indirect function can come in. So instead of doing it one by one, where I have to go to the February cell, B3, and uh, solve it again manually, I will use the indirect function so that I just have to do it once, double click it, and it will Excel will do the rest. So here's how it works. So we start by, of course, having your regular formula. So whenever you're planning to do indirect, it's best that you have the solution if it's just going to be manual like this. And then we have to remove the name of the worksheet because this is the reason why our answer is the same all throughout because this is a fixed name of a worksheet. So I'm going to remove that fixed name. I would retain the exclamation point to mark the worksheet name and column B because all my data are under column B anyway for each of the worksheets. Now I will replace the January word that I removed there, the name of the worksheet, with the value from cell A2. So given that cell A2 is exactly the same as the name of the worksheet that we're getting the data from. We're then going to repair what we just did by concatenating the exclamation point column B to uh, cell A2. So come to think of it, this is, again, the name of the worksheet only that if we enter it now, you will get a hashtag value because this is not anymore a real worksheet name. It's just a concatenation of the word January, an exclamation point, a letter B, a colon, and a letter B. It's not a cell reference. Now, this is where indirect can help. So indirect sort of like elevates, transforms, or converts this text that we just constructed into an actual cell reference. So Excel will then understand that this January exclamation point BB is not just merely a text, but rather a real cell address, fixing the problem back. And now, because our name of the worksheet is based from a cell A2, then if we double click this, then we will get the answer from February and from March. So to double check, let's go to March and see what's the average of these four numbers. So as you can see here at the calculator below, we have 375, which is giving us the right answer for this one. So that's the power of indirect. It converts texts into real cell addresses. Let's do that again. So it's just to show you that it's going to be applicable in any function. Like for example, here, we have to get the highest score per month. So we go max, direct, we get the cell because that's the name of the worksheet. Then continue constructing the name of the worksheet, or the name of the column that I want the data to come from, and then enter. So if you're already used to using it direct, you can just type it like that. And if you know that you can type the name of the worksheet directly without starting with the uh, ordinary or regular formula, you can just type the formula straight from left to right, double click to get the rest. 
So this is how indirect is used in uh, scenarios like this. Now, before we end, okay, let's again examine this. So this is a very powerful function, but again, it relies on the exactness of your data. For example, if I renamed this as JAN, uh, then it would not work anymore because the name of the tab that it's supposed to get data from is January. So if this is the case, then unfortunately, uh, indirect will not work. It's in also the same uh, vice versa. So for example, if this uh, these worksheets are named JEN, R, and FEB, this would totally ruin our formula. However, if we want to fix this, there's still a way. So instead of indirect of A2, then we can just get the first three cells or the first three characters of cell A2, right? Because that first three cells will now correspond to the name of the worksheet, and that would solve the problem. So here as well. What I wanted to share here is that you can actually use indirect, not just for a plain concatenation of a string of texts. You can formulate the way that uh, to find a way to connect this cell to the name of the worksheet. So here in this case, I use left so that they are somehow the same and then use indirect to, again, elevate whatever you did okay, to a real cell address. And that's it for today's video. In the next video, I'm going to show you other things that you can do with indirect. You can actually make dynamic charts out of this, dynamic lookups and so on. But for now, this is it, and I'll see you next time.